Whatever assumptions we had about the plot of The Mandalorian before it premiered, it's safe to say that Mando playing babysitter to a baby Yoda wasn't even on our bingo card. Episode 2 is such a delight precisely because it feels so at odds with how we think of bloodthirsty bounty hunters, while also managing to feel quintessentially Star Wars. Where the premiere laid its groundwork carefully, Episode 2 of The Mandalorian comes out guns blazing, giving us a clearer sense of both the main characters and show's identity. That's thanks in large part to the odd humor of seeing the stoic Mando trying to deal with a curious child who is every bit as mischievous and mysterious as Yoda was, and apparently just as naturally gifted in the ways of the Force. The odd couple pairing has echoes of classic westerns like True Grit or John Ford's Three Godfathers, juxtaposing our tough hero with a more innocent character who's designed to slip under his guard. The episode functions much the same way for the audience. We start out expecting an action-packed thrill ride, and we damn sure get it. But watching the Mandalorian attempt to protect this strange, vulnerable child is also designed to disarm us. It challenges our expectations about our hero while also encouraging us to empathize with these two mysterious characters. It's a genius strategy made possible because the Baby Yoda creature is adorable. It also helps that the episode is just plain funny, recalling the comedic action tone of Indiana Jones. Nick Nolte's accommodating quill also adds adds an interesting dynamic as we realize that the Ugnaught is a low-key Mandalorian fanboy who's basically counting on Mando to live up to all the legends he's heard about the warrior tribe. Seeing Mando through Quill's eyes helps humanize our hero just as effectively as his determined attempts not to become attached to his young bounty. While Episode 2 is obviously part of a larger serialized story, it's also a neat demonstration of how the show could work just as well with self-contained storylines, with Mando rolling into a new territory and solving a new problem every week. There's a much clearer narrative focus here, punctuated by kinetic bursts of action. Still, the lingering mystery is the most interesting part. We know that an Imperial officer and a twitchy scientist probably don't want to adopt this kid and make sure it grows up to be a well-rounded member of New Republic society, and Mando's growing fondness for the little creature will no doubt cause some wrinkles beyond just taking out rival bounty hunters as the show goes on. While Episode 1 did a compelling job of introducing us to the world of the Mandalorian and its badass hero, Episode 2 oozes swagger, offering an energetic, action-packed, and surprisingly hilarious installment that feels like a perfect demonstration of what the show can and should be. While the episode may feel too cute for some, it also feels undeniably Star Wars, from the rollicking action set pieces to the confident balance of humor and heart. What did you think of the second episode? For more on The Mandalorian, check out our review of the first episode and explainer about the Mandalores themselves. And be sure to like and follow wherever you like to watch IGN.